This can only mean one thing. It's time for another unboxing video. So this has been sitting in my kitchen waiting for me to do this video for a little bit. I've been dying to dive right in, but I want to do the unboxing with you because I think this is a special product for Apple. Obviously you've read the title of the video, you know what you're expecting. I have not opened this apart from this little strip here. I was peeking inside, I was so eager to have a look. So let's flip this up and lift these two tabs and it kind of lifts it out like it's Oh, some sort of monument. And here we are. It's heavier than you'd expect. The Apple Home Pod. Little pull tab here. Apple love making their easy to open boxes. Don't even need any tools. Put your knives away, kids. Let's pull the tab. Just so satisfying on every Apple product when this happens. Box is pretty standard, just white and gray, really classy. Got Home Pod written on the sides and then the Apple logo as well. Let's lift up the big reveal. Here it comes. What color did I choose? Well, you're right. I chose the white one. Oh yeah. The speaker looks particularly good. This is my first time seeing it in person and wow, this is a lot smaller than I was expecting. I was expecting more of the size of a Mac Pro and uh, it's got this mesh outer body which feels really nice. I love that. Wow, yeah, it seriously has some weight to it. I thought some of it was the box, but no. The Brady cable is on here. Um, I have read that it, this is detachable, um, although Apple say not to do it. I don't know why, but uh, this is detachable. And this braided cable feels really nice. That feels really high quality. That should last very, very well. So we'll put this to the side here. And all we have left in here is, of course, designed by Apple in California. And as we open this up, inside here, just some brief instructions. We've got the HomePod. We've got how to connect to your device. Three steps, that's all you need. And some Siri commands here as well. That is, that is it guys, that is it. So the HomePod itself, let's, let's have a look at it. As I said, this cable's quite long. It's pretty good. We're just gonna unwrap it here and pull this tab out. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's a decent length. I think it's a decent length. This should be able to fit in most places without any trouble or need for extension cables. And yeah, I mean, let's just take this in for a minute. I think this is a really nice looking product. It feels really solid in the hand. People were telling me that it was quite hefty, but actually until you hold it, you really don't realize quite how much. I mean, I suppose in a good sense, this feels quality. It feels like it's gonna last. It feels like someone is gonna come and just knock it over very easily or gonna do any damage. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, let's remove one of the last stickers on this thing. It has a little green tab and then, oh, that's so, oh, so nice. I love pulling these things off. And yes, no, no typical Apple smell. Apple products, any of you guys out there that own any Apple products, especially iPhones, you know their boxes have a particular smell to them. Maybe it's just me, I don't know, but this looks really nice. Okay, so all we need to do now is really is plug it in and see what this can do. Okay, so let's turn it on for the first time. Got the light, it's coming on. Okay, so all I should need to do is bring my phone up like so. And here we go. HomePods come up. Let's click Setup. So, which home are you in? We're in our flat B, as you can see. We'll click that. Where is the HomePod? It is in, let's say, the kitchen. Allow personal requests. Uh, I'm going to say not now on this because I don't want people, namely my flatmate, being able to send texts on my behalf. Agree to terms and conditions, of course. We're going to read those later and transfer my settings. So it's just sending my details over to the HomePod, setting all up, transferring everything over. And this is all you do to set it up. This is the, the core process, all done. You do need an iPhone though, just a note. Siri, what can you do? Hey Siri, what can you do? Hey Siri, what can you do? She doesn't want to play ball, but she can turn the music down. 
she can play music, she can tell you the weather. Try again. Hey Siri, what's the capital of South Africa? I found three, Cape Town, Pretoria and Bloemfontein. Okay, so Siri, you might not play ball first time, but at least the setup process was really easy to do. You do need an iPhone though, and a few seconds of your time. Thanks for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to smack that like button. Show me some love for the video. If you do have any thoughts or opinions or questions on the HomePod, don't forget to leave them in the comment section down below. Subscribe and hit the bell icon to not miss the full review when this comes out in the next week or two. And that's all I have to say. So, hey Siri, hit play. In my thoughts, you're far away. You are whistling a melody, whistling a melody, crystallizing clear as day. Oh, I can picture you so easily, picture you so easily. What's gonna be? Terry, stop.